Sorika. All right, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a quick cardio session followed by um, a technique combination focusing on removing that leg from a catch when the person does a round kick. And then after that, we'll work on an activity. So let's get started. So today's warm up, we're gonna start off by doing a cardio session, doing 15 second intervals of different techniques. So the first thing we're gonna do is ski movements. So you're gonna move side to side, bringing that leg back like you're skiing. Then after that, we're going to be doing star jumps. So moving the arms up and down, followed by lunges. So stepping the foot in front, bending the knee, not all the way down. You don't want to touch the floor, just mostly down, back up to the other side. Lunges, back up into a soldier position. Next thing after that we're going to do is arm rotations followed by half burpees. So jumping up, leg out, back up. So, all right, let's get started. So 15 second intervals, and we're going to be doing that twice. Okay, let's get started, shall we? So first thing you're gonna do, ski movements, and go. So side to side, making sure you do it as fast as you can, doing a leap, leap side to side. This one's quite a, a relaxing one. So quite good pace. Once you've done that, we're going to do star jumps. Increase that heart rate a little bit. All the way up, clapping the hand, if you can. So this one's really good in getting your heart rate up. Next thing we're going to do is lunges. So warming those legs up and the knee joints. So bending the knee down. Now all the way down, try not to touch the floor. Keep going, keep going. Once you've done that, we're going to be doing arm rotations, getting the muscles in our arms warmed up, making sure that you do little big circles. Try to keep them straight as you can. And then we'll follow by burpees and we'll repeat. So half burpees. This should be really fast. So 15 seconds. Keep going. All right, now ski. Back to the ski. Movement, side to side. If you can pick up your pace, that's awesome. Keep going, keep going. Next thing we're gonna do is star jumps. Moving those arms up, touching those hands. Make sure you're moving those legs as well. Get that heart rate up. All right, lunges now. So bending the knee, have your hands on your hips if you want to. Getting the body warmed up. Once you've done these, we're gonna to move to arm rotations. All right, arm rotations now. We're gonna do the opposite way, so backwards this time. Moving those arms. And then we'll finish it off with burpees, making sure you go super fast with these half burpees. All right, let's go. High jumps. Try to touch the roof if you can. Ooh. Doing this for 15 seconds, keep pushing, and done. So that was a really quick one. Hopefully you got your heart rate elevated. And yeah, let's move on to the combinations and techniques. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our technique and combination. So Today's focus is purely on removing that leg from a catch. So the other day we did the step to side catch, step throw. And we're going to practice that first, just so we have an understanding of what that catching that leg is. So we're gonna start with the hands up fighting stance. Going to step to the side, catch the leg, step to side throw. So ready, hands up, we'll do this really, really fast. So if you are uh, unsure of how to do this, watch my other video. So today we're just gonna do it quick, so five sets. Ready, step to the side, catch, step throw. Ready, let's do this. One, ish, ish. two, ish, ish. three, ish, ish. four, ish, ish. and five, ish, ish. awesome. So now we're going to move on to what we're really gonna focus on today is removing that leg from that catch. So you start off by doing a round kick, whoops a daisy, they catch your leg. So you have to really keep your balance for this because 
We're gonna practice removing that tail leg. So you're gonna kick around when they catch the leg. You obviously have more control over your leg when they do that because they all have like a support system for you. So you catch the leg, they've caught your leg. Next thing you're gonna do is point the knee down and you're gonna drag it off. You gotta make sure you really point that knee down, turning your body a little bit so that the foot ends up being from the side down to like straight. That way it makes it easier to remove that leg from the um, from the catch. So you kick, bend the knee down, remove, and back to your fighting stance. So leg kick down, back to your fighting stance. This one will be a little bit uh, easier when we do it with partner work later on. But for now, we're just gonna practice doing the kick, remove the leg, and down. After we do that, we're going to follow it up by a check. So we just did the catch, we removed, we're gonna follow it up with a check. So we're gonna spin that check, leg up, spin around, and move with that. So you kick, move the leg, place it down, you lift this leg back leg up, so that it's in a checking position, and you're gonna pivot around and rotate around then back into your fighting stance. So catch the leg, remove the knee, place it down, bring that leg up, rotate around, just to block it, any kicks that come with that, um, removing that leg. So hands up, fighting stance. We're going to do a really slow count of five of just rotating and following up with that check. So hands up, one, remove the knee, place down and check. Awesome, back to your fighting stance, two, Kick, bend the knee down, remove the foot, place it down, followed by the other leg, check. Three, kick, rotate down, place, and check. Four, kick, knee down, place down, check. And five, kick, place down, and check. Awesome, all right, so we're now gonna move on to a partner work. So if you've got like a mum or dad or a sibling at home that can help you out. This is a perfect time for them. Call them over and let's do this. All right, welcome back. So hopefully you got a drink. So now we're going to move on to our activity. So today it requires a partner. If you haven't got anyone at home, you can still sort of practice um, in terms of like maybe using your sofa or like something to put your foot on just to help you have that balance and then just practice removing that leg and doing a check. If not, partners would be awesome though. A partner would make it so much easier. So you start off with facing your partner, hands up in the fighting stance. You're gonna do a round kick off that back leg. So my back leg here, I'm gonna do a round kick. He's going to step and catch. Into a step to catch. Next thing I'm gonna do, you see how I've got my hand up, one protecting my face and down. You make sure you keep that always. I'm gonna bend my knee down to the floor, the knee face down, pull that leg out, put it in front and then rotate and check. If you've got the hang of this, try to increase your speed a little bit so you can do a little bit faster, I'll show you. So catch, pull out, and then rotate. Getting ready. Again, he catches and rotate. Boom. Awesome. If you've got that and you've got that speed, change direction, move around, keep your hands up, kick at any time you feel like it. So he's got to really predict it. Catch, All right, so. That's the activity, try and do that as much as you can until your partner gets tired and you get tired and there, yeah, we'll go from there. Awesome. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something or uh, had fun. Uh, making sure if you do have any uh, questions or like concerns, please leave it down in the comments and we'll try our best to answer it. Um, it was a bit of a tricky technique, so if you did was able to do it, then that's awesome, good for you. That's really, really good and I'm super proud. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hands up, let's bail out. Car. Awesome. See you next time.